Wow, now that was an experience. Wow. So where are we and what we're doing? So for me to not go to door slammers is quite a big thing because door slammers is the, probably the biggest event of the year at Santa Pod for all the drag racing lads, especially my friends who all run in the front wheel drive series. <laughs> to kind of I mean not to go to that it's got to be something special so we've had an invite to Goodwood basically race the Cavalier touring car an opportunity I can't miss that's where we are today the event is called Retro Rides I think it's called Retro Rides Weekender so we're here we've just got up in the morning we're ready to get our tools and we're ready to head over to the circuit to start the racing for the day it looks like it's going to be a good day where we're going to be around the track all day doing demo laps very excited let's get the tools let's get over to the cavalier and let's see what the day brings We're in spot number one. We're just going over the car to prep it. What we've had to do is Jim's replaced all the uh, master cylinders. Let me show you. So we've done all the master cylinder changes and we just wanted to double check the brakes for this morning, re-bleed them, give the car a bit of once over before we get out onto the track. Obviously from not being here, I'll just pan around so you can see what I see. There's some very, very nice special cars here. I think I'm gonna do some filming with the Mondale later on this afternoon because that is beautiful that thing but for for first impressions at goodwood yeah look spot on look spot on looking forward to see what the day brings so swap the tires for new tires we've checked the oil gone around torque spec everything we're literally ready now to get it over to the fuel filling area so then we can get onto track i think we're on at quarter to 12 probably four to five laps and then come back in we're ready to rock and roll let's crack on so Jim's just literally just gone off now for to sign on. The car's fully done. We're quite happy with where we're up to. Obviously, it's going to be awesome to see the two touring cars going round. Obviously, the older stuff, it's a bit before my time, unfortunately. I can appreciate it, but I'm more this era of the 90s touring cars. Everyone's going to sign on. We're on in the next half hour. The car's looking good. We fueled it, oiled it, torque setting everything. It's literally now ready to fire up, get warm, get gym strapped in, turn the cameras on and have some fun on the track at Goodwood. So we just had the start call. So we're going to put the heat into the car. So I'll show you how we basically start it. Nothing fancy on this. So it's literally powered on, fuel on, start. So we've just pushed the car down to the pits and like I say, first time I've ever been to Goodwood, this place is beautiful, proper old school, racetrack, stunning place. So we're literally just now waiting for to get the green light to start warming up and start going. Push me down, 
push me down. shining and like last time best place ever first time we've been beautiful place let's hope jim has a good time on the track and we have no failures and we can have a successful day so it looks like we've, we've been pulled in i would have thought it was down to noise because noise regulations here are very very strict some like 101 decibels at full chat and we way exceed that so i think they've pulled us in we have been driving off the limit as you saw probably saw down the home straight so we'll see whether they're going to let us back out later on got a lot of, if you know this car has a lot of induction noise then uh then you know to be careful as you approach it but if you're going past it then you've got a lot of exhaust noise on. Yeah, well, it does sound good, but that noise was a bit, bit too much to be honest. And we've got to be doing, we've got to do something about it. So, um, yeah, no, I understand. Just have to make it a bit easier. All right? Yeah, all right. Cool. What that is, is around this area here is the sound monitor. So what they've said to us is, get past the sound monitor, put your foot down. So you'll have seen him just creep past nice and slow and then nail his foot. Go on, you lad. You will have seen then the guy sticking the sign out for noise. So I think we're going to get pulled in again. Stupid hat on, keep me head out the sun. That's day one done. Track days, the two runs finished, no breakages, all good. Got showered out a couple of times for the noise. You probably will have seen me flashing the five minute mark for the last track. Got to put your foot down. You got to give people a bit of entertainment. So, no, been a really good day. We'll now get the car in the pits, give it a once over, and let's see what this evening brings. If not, I'll see you on day two. sat strapped in ready to go for the parade lap in the cavalier uh, this is these the, the dreams and like i say i keep going back to it i get in these situations this is one to tick off the bucket list of a dream come true i can't thank jim enough even though i'm not going to be going very fast it's more than an experience just to go around i'll put the gopro on so i can film myself and i've got a memory forever this is a once in a lifetime <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now that was an experience. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the feedback's immense on that thing. Isn't it, isn't it? Were you the slightest and it's going? Yes, it is. Yeah. And it's noisy, but I'm sure you have an helmet on yeah. this, but it's, it's, you can definitely put the, noise, the yeah. wine in the gearbox. Yeah. But no, that's an experience, that Jim. You'll have to go out this afternoon. No, you, obviously you go out. <laughs> you enjoy yourself. This is what we're here for. <laughs> this is brilliant. That's enough. That's, is it? Yeah, that's enough. That's, he's always the latest. He's got yeah. a lovely bit of film coming oh. in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I can't. Because obviously, I've not driven anything like this. I know I've done it in anger, but even yeah. just the. The feeling. Just the wave. You're getting the. Feeling. Where, you, where you want this to go, it goes. And the gears. Very positive. Very positive, very short. And you, you, you get some getting used to to get through the gears quicker and everything it else. Does yeah, get some getting used to. So. But yeah, that's. that's brilliant. <laughs> I'm mind blown, Jim. I'm mind blown. Yeah. I have just driven chassis number one Cavalier British touring car. Never in my wildest dreams did I think just mechanic in for GM would turn into me being able to have a drive in it. You will probably hear the in-car footage, very positive to drive. I'm not a race driver by far, but that thing is something so, so special. And I feel honored to be able to have a go in it. So now I've composed myself a little bit and, and, and got my head round it. What happened and what was going to happen was, it was never planned for me to drive the car. Jim asked me if I wanted to have a go uh, this afternoon on the actual track itself. But what's happened is we were pulled in for noise, as you will have seen. So basically he didn't get the full time he needed or to have some fun on the first session. So I said, listen, you know, I don't need to have a, 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 a race in it. Time will, can come in the future. I'll do the parade lap just to get some experience, to feel the car, you know, get a bit of confidence in it that I'm, I'm capable of driving it. And then Jim can have some fun this afternoon. To say, ticked off the bucket list. And as I keep saying, and as I've said a thousand times, starting YouTube has been one of the greatest things I've ever done. And anyone who doesn't, you know, thinks they shouldn't start, start. Because opportunities like this, just the doors open. And never in my life would I dream that I'd be able to have a drive in that car. Thank you, Jim. It means so much.